Hi guys, so this is a water marble nail video, so you'll be needing, um, you'll need a bottle of water, clear coat, white nail polish, and polish of your choice. Also some tape, q-tips, toothpick, polish remover, and a cup. So here we are just putting, um, some, this LA Colors white nail polish on one of the nails. Only doing one of the nails because that's all we're doing today. So you want to make sure it's on there pretty good. So then you just want to put that away and get it out of the way. Also, we're going to be using this tape. We're just going to be taking the tape and covering the, like the outside of your nails, not the nail. Not the nail at all. So we're just showing you how to put the tape on. So now we are taking the tape and putting it all over the finger. We put some on like by the bottom up by the cuticle and then we put some on the side. We're only using two pieces because we put one on the by the cuticle and one put on each side. Okay. So I've showed you how to do that. Now time for the fun part. You need some bottled water and you want to fill up your cup. Not overflowing, but not too little because you don't want to stick your whole hand down in the cup. I put quite a bit in there. So now you want to let the water sit for a minute. Now once it's set, I'm going to show you the color. So we just use Sally Hansen purple. Um, we're also going to be using uh, this white, like the hardener. You, want to, you always want to start with white. We're also going to be using this Sally Hansen red. Hard as nails, extreme wear. So those are all the colors we're going to be using. So first, oh, and we're going to be using quick dry for the top coat. So what you want to do is you want to take all of your polishes and open them and put them around your bowl or your cup or whatever you're using for your water marble nails. You want to make sure they're all open so they're easy to grab and easy access. You want to put them around your cup and make sure they are close by. So we're going to go ahead and start with the white. We just take a drop of white and put it in there. If it's not spreading, you may want to use a different color, but you always want to start with white. So that's spreaded. You can't really tell because it's white and the cup is white, but it's spreaded. And now we're going to go ahead with the red. And that didn't spread very well, so if it doesn't spread, just shake the cup. And then it spreads. So we're going to go ahead and do the purple, and then no more white though. We're going to go white, then red, purple, and then red, purple, red, purple. So that one spreaded a little bit, and I got some fingernail polish on the side of the cup. But that one spreaded okay, but I'm just going to keep going. So I have red, and then purple. And then more red. So the purple would be the last color and I just shake it to kind of spread it out and now time for the design. So for the design I'm just using a toothpick and um, also when you do your design you're going to need a paper towel or a rag or something to wipe your toothpick off with. So I just grabbed a paper towel. So now you wipe your toothpick off and you just keep going. So I actually don't know what kind of design this is. I'm just, you know, doing it in different directions and all that kind of fun stuff. So right here you can't really see it, but I just wiped my toothpick off on the paper towel. So we're just going to keep going. So on that part, she's do we're done now. And it just kind of like lifted up, almost came out, but it didn't. So that was good. It kind of saved it. So when you go ahead and you want to put your fingernail polish, your finger in the fingernail polish downward, not upward. 
you are also going to be needing a q-tip to wipe off the excess nail polish and then take it out and now we're done and that is the finished design you can't really tell but <laughs> once we take the tape off then it'll be good so that's the finished design so this is what it looked like and that's kind of what like the design is such a have the model so now she's just wiping her um the excess nail polish off that was on her finger that the tape didn't get and it wasn't very much because the tape was like all over her finger so she's just wiping the rest of the excess off so now we're going to be using this quick dry and we're going to just overcoat it to keep it on longer and to stop it from smudging Okay, we are overcoating it now, and then once we're done, I'm going to show you the nail and show you it in different lighting. We're going to show you in this kind of lighting and then natural lighting. So that's that, and this is natural lighting. And that's our thumb that she did earlier, so thank you for watching, and we really hope you like it. Bye.